fashion with the Made in Kazakhstan label. The leading and aspiring Kazakh fashion industry designers. Fashion Week reviews, the latest trends, and pointers from the stylists. All your news from the world of fashion and beauty on Fashion Guide. During the breaks between the Fashion Weeks, couturiers demonstrate their cruise collections. That is a fully presented and designed shoe, cloths, and accessory line. Initially, this particular trend became the subject in the beginning of the 20th century when Côte d'Azur turned into a popular resort. And the real success cruise collections gained in the 1990s when Karl Lagerfeld brought back to life the tradition of a demi-season fashion show. Nowadays, almost every fashion house launches capsular collections for the warm season. In Kazakhstan, annual resort-style fashion shows are run by Sakin Jaksibayev. In the run-up to the vacation and travel season, together with ZH Sakin Women Brand, we presented to the Almaty and Kazakhstan audience our own version of the vacation style, travel or holiday season style girl. The cruise collection should not necessarily be designed in some particular style. Everything is up to the couturier's idea. The source of inspiration may be the art objects, 20th century fashion, legends of the past, or even whole nations. Thus, 2018 season Prada collection, for example, was dedicated to retro chic and Indian vibes. And at the Chanel show, the ancient Greek theme could have been sensed. Sakin Jaksibayev was inspired by Los Angeles. Precisely in this city of stars, dreams and fantasies, I've seen a lot of such symbolic clothes that wear and walk Los Angeles girls, the citizens of Los Angeles, and those who come to Los Angeles, those who come for a dream. That is always somehow both comfort and luxury. It was both ease and epatage. It was both vibrant and not very pretentious. Therefore, while spending a month in such a creative trip, I noticed for myself that the Los Angeles girl type is what I like a lot and what is really close to me. The freedom became the key word of the whole show. This is particularly evident not only in the prints, but also in the symbolic phrases. They encourage us to walk out of our houses, offices, and start traveling. The collection itself consists of summer and evening dresses, retro chic style clothes, and pajama style costumes. Tropical prints carry out into hot countries, and the dark tones attuned for also a romantic rendezvous. Sakin hasn't forgotten about the current season trend also. Pink colors, stripes and denim. If in the previous seasons denim was stonewashed, wiped out, tormented by every sort of holes, we've put an emphasis on the classical denim after all. This is such a classical dark blue denim that existed originally, the way that it was created. Also, Sakin offers a lot of silk, pleated skirts, and below-the-knee dresses. The special attention was given to the flower print and embroidery. Beautiful patterns of sequins and stones exist not only on jackets, corsets, and dresses, but on pants also. Sakin's top priority is ease and comfort. Therefore, in his heroine's wardrobe, there is place for both romantic dresses, culottes, and sweatpants. If in the past, pants with stripes could have only been seen in the gym, Today it's appropriate to wear them on any cocktail part. I liked red pants with stripes, white double stripes, silk ones. And I liked fuchsia pants that are tied on the bows below. They could be presented as sport chic, as cocktail, or for example, you could wear them with just a black tuxedo. The brand fan's attention was also drawn by the vivid accessories black framed glasses, painted denim bags, and heavy jewelry. And the belts labeled Jaxi Vibes made the looks unique. The beginning of the summer season is the occasion to organize shopping and refresh your wardrobe. Today we'll announce what Kazakh couturiers prepared for the hottest season. Trendy summer 2017 is of colors inspired by the nature's beauty. Pink, peach, sky blue, yellow, orange, lilac, and green. I advise to wear vivid and loose clothes in summer. In fact, I wanted to use something absolutely different in this collection. Red with green. That is to say, current collection is all very vibrant. 
makes of the different colors absolutely incompatible patterns and hues. I suppose it looks very stylish and vibrant. In this fashionable palette, there is no place for classic. Black and white could be combined both together and with any trendy color. I really love black and to combine it with white, gray and yellow. That's what I use in my patterns, on the shawls and clothes. Couturier Olga Stan recommends to sometimes rest from the bright colors and wear the clothes of calm tones. That's the same colors that currently appeared in the new collection, powder. They suit absolutely everyone, greatly combined with other different colors. And in my opinion, that is also a must-have for the upcoming season. The flavor of the season would also be prints that convey the mood of exotic countries, sun and sea. Animalistic styles, relevant in the autumn-winter season, smoothly moved on to the summer season and embodied in the patterns of birds, animals, butterflies and dragonflies. Dots are also in the trend, along with large flowers, ethnic vibes and fantasy style abstraction. Geometric styles in clothing could be named highly trendy. Rhombus, squares, circles, triangles were used in the creation of Zinara C. Tova's collection. Chiffon, flax, cotton. Superb choices for the hot summer. Followed by lace and silk, from which evening and everyday looks are created. Equally relevant would be clothes of soft leather and satin. Gaufre and crinkled fabric is to wear this season. Thanks to them, couturiers added some air and texture to the clothes. Pleats on such materials create an unusual sculptural volume. In addition, gopher textile is very practical. I advise to choose clothes that don't need to be ironed. That's very convenient during the vacation and the trip, so that you've packed them into your luggage and you don't have to search for the nearest dry cleaning or laundry where you could refresh it. Clothes from the new collections are tailored that way, that the silhouette can only be sensed intuitively. Skin-tight dresses are virtually non-existent. Casual cut is much more welcome. One more of the 2017 summer trends is shortened pants. They could be with creases, cuffs, or slightly bell-bottomed. Culottes are also very trendy. This year, many couturiers included bijouterie to their collections. Massive necklaces of indefinite forms, that's a hit. Triangles, circles, and different interlacings are up to date. Rough metal, black stones, all that's in trend, great avant-garde. Accessories are all very massive, bold, as the nowadays fashion dictates them to be the accessories that are truly vibrant. To complete the stylish summer looks, you have to choose the right makeup. Summertime trend is ease and naturalness. People around should think that you have no makeup on at all. For this, use light tonal textures, bright rouge and just a bit of eye mascara. Nude makeup is always in trend. We've approached every model individually. Now the ease is in the trend, each woman's, girl's individuality. We make some emphasis on the face, that could be on the eyes, strong accent on the lips, or face contouring, or cheekbone emphasizing. Hairstylists in turn choose deliberate sloppiness and freedom. Apart from the wet hair effect and pretty curls, hair professionals advise to make low ponytails. Very comfortable and easy hairstyles, especially for those who don't like to spend time on styling. Ponytails should not necessarily be smooth. You can curl it to add more volume. Low ponytails with some loose locks will fit both for the office, for the gym and a walk. Classical design, comfortable heels and quality materials. These are the features of a good casual shoe. However, sometimes you should pay attention to something more epatage, vibrant and extravagant. Crazy shoes are so much loved by the world of fashion. Lady Gaga, Beyonce, Rihanna and Victoria Beckham are brought together by the love of the unusual shoes. Kazakhstan fashionistas have also started to look closely at the original design. Variety of the heel has no restrictions for me. It could be both thick heel and kitten heel. Also, the curve could be strange, interesting, as in the present model. With the appearance of many brands and growing competition, such footwear helps designers to stand out from the masses. Uncommon means not like the others. Alexander McQueen, Christian Louboutin, Vivian Westwood, 
Salvatore Ferragamo bet on the eccentric heels. Recently, the designing of uncommon shoes is managed by the Russian fashion designer Sergei Kozidev. We are present since September 2016. We've launched in Paris on the 27th of September. Originally, my major was graphic design. However, afterwards, I changed it for shoes. I chose shoes. In the beginning, it was just a hobby, and then slowly, step by step, it grew into something more serious. I finished the course of Emmanuel Footwear Manufacturing, and then there was a lot, a lot of practice. The main focus of Sergei is on the form. Less decor, more futurism and architecture details. The major peculiarity of his Rose Ballet brand shoes is in the heel. So in the last collection it is designed in the form of the automobiles and motorbikes details. These models can be for sure classified as crazy shoes. Today crazy shoes can be of two types. First one is creative, comfortable and absolutely useless shoes with flashy bold designs. That is more of a fashionable designer souvenir that you can store on the shelf and admire. The second one, shoes that combine daredevil design, comfort and style. Sergei's shoes belong to the second category, thanks to the well-balanced heel and the chance to combine them with any clothing. I don't just draw shoes separately. I draw them in ensemble with a skirt, coverall or trousers, because I am curious to see how it works together, and if it works, then it's okay. Sometimes I have the too much ideas that doesn't go either with skirts, dresses or with trousers. These ideas get dismissed. I am interested in my clients wearing the shoes, not only storing them on the shelf. That way I have no pleasure in creating. One of the first owners of the unusual shoes became a socialite, Chanel Bartaeva. 1950s style shoes she combined with the man style costume. Presented as both masculinity and femininity, because anyway the collection is worn by women for men. I think that both women and men will evaluate the beauty, the grace. If you are tired of the casual shoe monotony, help will come from the uncommon shoes. Start experimenting is better from the less extravagant models. For example, you can choose the shoes with the strings resembling of the point shoes. Annually on the Fashion Olympus lights up the whole pleiad of the young designers and come out the new names. Wonderful Jumping Off Point is a well-known project, Almaty pop-up store. Most of the designers are of natural gifts. One of the examples is Yana Ilyayeva, who, having no special education, decided on a creation of her own label, Aventurista, that's translated as an adventure. The name expresses my lifestyle, my approach to life. So, through my brand, I propagate such a value as self-respect and self-confidence. Yana advises to wear straight-cut pleated dresses, shortened pants and elongated jackets. Collections are filled with democracy and practicalness. Applications, embroidery, black edgings are harmoniously fit in the concept of the brand. Geometrical lines and calm colors became the standout point of the collection. These dresses may surely be named elegant and seductive. The brand aims to manifest inner courage and sensuality. Femininity and individuality is also displayed by Anil Mohamed Yarva. Light pink tones, flower embroidery, semi-transparent fabrics. The heroine of this brand is romantic and airy. The designer offers a mix of evening and casual dresses. Her clothing could be worn both for a walk with friends and on a date. All clothes are manufactured precisely by me and in one single copy. So the most important for me is quality, individuality, singularity of every woman. I sew clothes that are practical, in which you can go out in the daytime and at night. I create my molds the way that the cloth is suitable both for an 18-year-old girl and for a 30-year-old woman. From designer's accessories to the clothes, that was the creative career of the designer Dasha Avdieva. She started her way as a creative of hairbands, headbands and handmade hats. And today Dasha creates dresses. The main slogan of the designer is classic and comfort.
She decorates basic dresses with accessories and favor noble colors. We have a lady kingdom for the girls of any age, from the babies to the grannies. We aim at creating a princess from every woman. All our dresses and accessories are designed in such a way. The friends Leila Amadi and Asil Rahatova are the vivid example of the creative tandem. Their brand, Suerte, is famous for their well-known vests for any occasion, from the minimalistic to the gem-embroidered models. We use the hand embroidery. For example, in the current vest, the sequins, rhinestones and Murano-style glass is used. Also, there is following variant, where the sequins and handmade flowers are used. Three heads are better than two. That was proven by Anna Tio, Ajar Karibjanova and Janar Mirzajanova, Rara brand designers. The collection of this brand are interesting not only for the trends, but for the returning back to the past. The three of us are professional designers. I've also used to work as a stylist, and we decided to create a brand where the theme of nomadism runs differently. In the first collection, we used the silk. Silk brought from India. That sends us back to the times of the Great Silk Road, when many fabrics were delivered to Kazakhstan through the Great Silk Road. In this collection, there are chapan style jackets, and here is the double-sided Beldemche style skirt, which you can wear both on one side and on the other. The heroine of the brand is named Rara Avis, which means rare bird. Kazakhstan designer Aigul Kasimova celebrated this year two creative anniversaries, 10-year anniversary of the name brand and 20-year anniversary of the atelier. In honor of the remarkable dates, the couturier pleased the brand's fans with some good news. Firstly, today there exists a mono boutique in Almaty. Secondly, the brand changed the logo type. Now it's a dragonfly. Because it's exactly the symbol of femininity, it's the most ancient insect in the world, and it evokes only the most positive response. We decided that it is so very about us. Furthermore, for the most loyal clients, Aigul organized photo sessions in the style of a famous Vanity Fair magazine. The dresses were specially designed for this project, and represented the character of each participant. What brought all heroines of this story together is sharing the philosophy of Aigul Kasimova brand. We were curious to shoot this photo project and to show who is she, Aigul Kasimova's girl, intelligent, thoughtful, having her own opinion, keeping pace with the times, such a truly interesting girl. And we wanted to emphasize that in our dress, every woman can expose her own individuality. Double anniversary was celebrated by the presentation of this photo project. To congratulate the designer came not only the loyal admirers of the brand, but also those who have recently swelled in their ranks. For example, a socialite, Eugenia Johnson, well known for her friendship with Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana, appeared this evening dressed up in the clothes of a Kazakhstan couturier. We are recently together with Aigul, I told her. I want something interesting, tender, a blue dress, light, and it resulted in such an interesting dress. During the 10 years, the brand launched more than 35 collections. Today, Kasimova doesn't restrict herself with just Pret-à-Porter clothes lines. Under her leadership are also manufactured the girls' collections, evening and wedding dresses, ethno-style clothes, shoes, accessories, and jewelry lines. Moreover, this fashion business can be called a family business. Recently, the eldest daughter of Aigul, Anil Kasimova, joined in. When the atelier just opened, I was four or five years old. It started in one room, in a basement. I returned there after the kindergarten, and then after school, it could be said that I grew up with this atelier, because I was always drawing something, cutting something there, learning how to do things. Everything happened in front of my eyes.
Along with the business, the geography of its operation has also widened. Aigul Kasimova's brand is presented in the boutiques of Russia, Italy, and Saudi Arabia, and the most favorite garments of the designer has always been, and will always be, the dress. During the 20 years of creating in the fashion business, the designer has never betrayed her preferences. We are living in the age of dresses, claims the couturier, promoting the ideas of femininity.